This presentation will address groups experiencing health inequities with a specific focus on people in rural and remote areas. The syllabus suggests that students learn about Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples and also one other group experiencing health inequities and we have chosen people in rural and remote areas. This presentation will assist you in your research and analysis of people in rural and remote areas, particularly the nature and extent of health inequities, the socio-cultural, socio-economic and environmental determinants, and the roles of individuals, communities and governments in addressing the health inequities. Rural and remote areas are defined as those areas outside major cities. You can clearly see on this map that there is quite a large proportion of the population living in rural and remote areas. You can see that there is a large proportion of the country that is considered very remote. In fact, the majority of Australia would be considered very remote. And there are only small pockets in the country that are actually considered major cities, with the rest dominated by remote, outer regional and inner regional. 26% of people in New South Wales live in rural and remote areas. And you can see again the breakdown is quite similar to the national statistics. What's, sig what's significant with this particular diagram is that you can actually see some areas that are considered very remote, such as Cobar, remote, such as Broken Hill, out of regional, places like Dubbo and Moree, inner regional, Wagga Wagga, Orange, Bathurst, Goulburn, and major cities, obviously, Sydney, Newcastle, and Wollongong. Remote areas of Australia are disproportionately populated by Indigenous Australians. You can see that 1% of the ATSI population is in major cities, and this is compared with 45% in very remote areas and 16% in remote areas. So rural and remote areas have a large proportion of ATSI people. And we know from our study already on ATSI peoples that they have a large health gap when compared to the rest of the population. So people in rural and remote areas have higher rates of mortality and disease and a greater presence of risk factors. The nature and extent of health inequities refers to the nature firstly being what are the health inequities and the extent being how severe. When we compare major cities with rural communities, life expectancy in major cities is higher than those in rural communities. Rural communities have a high rate of smoking, they have a higher rate of alcohol consumption, they generally have lower levels of income and education. They are more likely to be affected by natural disaster. But there are some positives to living in rural and remote areas, such as wide open spaces, fresh air, the potential for access to fresh food, and also a greater sense of community. The daily smoking comparison between rural and remote areas and major cities is quite significant. Up to 26% in rural and remote areas are daily smokers compared with around 15% in major cities and this has major implications for diseases such as cardiovascular disease and cancer which are higher in rural and remote areas. Risky drinking is also an issue in rural and remote areas with up to 31% in very remote areas compared to 19% drinking at risky levels. There is also a much higher suicide rate for those in rural and remote areas compared to major cities. Access to services is a major issue for those in rural and remote areas because of their geographic isolation. They have less access to hospitals, specialists and doctors and they may also have less access to general health messages. The nature of health inequities can be summed up in this table. You can see that those in rural and remote areas are more likely to smoke, 
be obese, drink alcohol, be less active, have high cholesterol, and they're more likely to have a risky occupation. In summary, you can see that the nature of health inequities includes isolation, lack of access to health services such as GP, specialist hospitals, and health media messages, a lower life expectancy which decreases with remoteness, high mortality from diseases such as CVD and cancer, high mortality from injury in general, particularly traffic accidents, more likely to have risky occupations in mining and agriculture, high levels of depression, poor dental health, low SES, and more likely to smoke and drink at risky levels to be obese and be sedentary. The extent of health inequities includes a really high rate of mortality, morbidity, and a greater presence of risk factors. Such chronic diseases as CVD, cancer, injury, diabetes, and obesity are all at high levels for those in rural and remote areas. I encourage you to check out the latest statistics to determine the extent of the health inequities for rural and remote communities provided by your teacher.